Alrighty. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my first video, so I'm not really sure how it's gonna go, but just hang in there with me. Some people said that I should make a YouTube channel, so here we are. In today's video, I'll be doing a little spring haul of things that I've just collectively gotten over this spring 2020. Just a disclaimer before I get started is that I'm not trying to brag in any sort of way and a lot of these things I did pay for myself. And first we have these headbands. These I believe are from Target and they come in a pack of five. I've already opened them a little bit but the ones that come in my pack are this floral design, this plain gray, maroon, teal, and navy blue. These are really good for if you're gonna go exercise and you need something to hold your hair back, or if you're gonna do a face mask so that your hair doesn't get into the mask. Speaking of face masks, the second thing I got was this ginormous stack of face masks. A while ago I ran out and I never really cared to replace them, but for Easter, I got a ton. I'll just quickly go over the ones that I got. First, we have the Ultra Hydrating Birch Leaf Face Mask. Detoxify an intense black peel-off mask. Illuminating rose quartz glitter peel-off mask. Strawberry peel-off mask. This one is definitely my favorite because I love peel-off masks more than any other kind, but also this one smells really good. I would definitely recommend this one. I have two purifying tea tree and witch hazel mud masks. Two pore minimizing T-zone or full facial mud masks two brightening pomegranate peel-off masks, two cleansing aloe vera cream masks, three relaxing lavender mud masks. This one has a different design than the others, but they're the same ones. Three plumping gold peel-off masks. This one also has a different design than these two, but they're the same ones. And finally, three hydrating pineapple peel-off masks. Also my Easter basket, I did get a Wubba Bubble. This is what it looks like. And of course I blew it up and played with it, but one time when I was playing with it, I threw it up on the roof and it popped. So now I don't have a Wubba Bubble. Overall, I'm so incredibly thankful for everything that I got in my Easter basket this year. Now we move on to the clothes. So first from Target, I got a swimsuit. This one has a cute striped colorful design and is just a normal bikini shape. I got mine in a size small in both the top and bottoms. I would definitely recommend the swimsuit because it's comfy, it lasts a long time, and it's a good shape where it doesn't show too much, but also doesn't cover a lot so that it's not uncomfortable. Next from Target, I got a pair of jean shorts and in person, and I'm not sure about on camera, these look really big, but when I put them on, they actually fit me pretty well. They are size extra small in women's, I believe, and they are the brand Wild Fable. I'm not sure why they look so big, but they're kind of like the style of mom jeans in shorts version, and they fit me really well, except when I put them on, the waist is just a little bit loose, but it's okay. Plus the design is like super cute. The last thing I got from Target was this pair of jeans. These are a size 00, zero in women's, which I'm pretty sure is an extra small, but I'm not for sure on that. They are like mom jeans and they're straight and cropped. And they have these tiny stripes on them. I don't know if you can see on camera, but they have stripes on them. These fit me super well. I don't need a belt for the waist and they're really comfy for jeans. These are the brand Universal Thrift. I would definitely recommend these jeans. These are the Black Align 25 inch leggings, I'm pretty sure. They're pretty basic, but they go with everything, so I don't really care. Mine are a size two. These are good for exercising, but they're also good for just any daily activity. Although these are very pricey, I would definitely recommend if you're looking for good quality leggings that will last you a while. Lastly, I have things from PacSun. Everything that I got from Paxson is from the Brandy Melville section, but the actual Brandy Melville store for me is about 30 minutes away from where I live 
and I did not want to drive 30 minutes, so I drove 15 minutes to go to a mall that had a pack sun so that I could get things from the brandy section. The first shirt that I have is this Gina top. It is in this blue color and it has these tiny white flowers on it. Mine was 18 to 20 dollars, I'm not for sure because this style shirt comes in many different colors and designs. So some of the shirts are 18 dollars and some of them are 20. I don't remember which one mine was, but I would definitely recommend this shirt if you're looking for something cute. This next shirt is the Alina New York t-shirt and this crop top that says New York on the front. It's a really good shirt to wear out or even just as loungewear. This was $22 and it's from the John Gelt brand. So unlike this shirt where it's from Brandy Melville, this one is from the John Gelt one, which I'm pretty sure he's the creator of Brandy. So they're basically the same thing, but yeah. From the PacSun store, not the Brandy section, I got this Wave Sun t-shirt. It's just this light blue color with this Wave Sun design on the front. This is a size extra small in women's and it was $26.95, but right now it's on sale for $11.99. This is a soft material and it's just an overall good t-shirt to have. Lastly, I have the crystal hoodie and this one is from Brandy Melville. I just have the color black and the material is pretty thick, so it's good for if it's cold, but it's also good just to have as a sweatshirt. This one was $32 and I would definitely recommend. So that concludes my haul. Please remember that I did not get this all in one trip. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. I hope it was good. I also hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.